Hey guys, it's Rick from Torinator, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can create torrents very quickly through uTorrent so that you can use them to then upload by uh, Torinator. Okay, very easy to do. First, you'll need to download a uTorrent. Uh, you can do this by just going to uTorrent.com um, or just Google it. For instance, it will be uTorrent. It's really the simplest client to use for torrent creation. You can do it online, but I find this is easier. So here you go. Just go to the website uTorrent.com, go get the free version. Install it. I'm not really sure how to do that. It's pretty easy, similar to most apps. Follow the wizard and install that. Then, when you open the program, you'll have this window by default. Okay? What you're going to do is this go to File, go to Create New Torrent, or just use the shortcut Control M. Hit that. Now, um, what you have to do is select your source. Okay, now this is going to be your file or your directory you're going to use as a torrent. You're going to make, you're going to make it into a torrent file. Okay? So I had add file for this example. I'm using simple stuff. I'm just going to use an image file um, of Bach Plusim. It's a psychologist slash terrible therapist. Blah, 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 blah. So just a simple image. Now after you've done that, now you go to the trackers field here. The trackers field um, should be populated with about four of the most popular ones. I know I include about a hundred or two hundred in the text file by default with your package, but really um, the three or four of the main ones you might need to use. Um, you should use three or four main ones, and then you can always go and you know, I suppose add some more. But these are three or four should be the primary ones you use. Now you can find these pretty easy. Go to bitlet.org. Okay, go to upload, and it will show you a little menu here. The tracker. Click this little ellipsis and use these four. Just copy, paste. Yep. Control C, Control V, back into uTorrent over here. That's it. Now that's, those are your four main trackers that you should be using. Hit start seeding. Preserve file order. Um, this isn't really as, this isn't really needed. Um, start seeding and then hit create and save. Okay. Put this name your torrent file whatever you want. Back Blusum, whatever. Uh, Image okay, dot torrent, and then done. It's going to start seeding. So you can see here now it's seeing this file. Now, when you go and open Torrinator, go ahead and open Torrinator, you can successfully upload this file to all the torrent websites that are supported. Um, I know some people sometimes get the idea that you can upload any file, like MP3s, text files, video files, whatever. Um, it's actually Specifically limited to torrent files. It's a torrent website, and you're uploading torrent files as opposed to you know, general, general files. So, just hit browse, and we'll go to documents, and you'll see the new torrent file that we made here. Okay, open. Okay, we'll go into here, and this is the general idea. Name whatever you want. Choose category. Other pictures. Uh, Okay. Okay. Done. 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 Select your torrent sites. Pretty simple. Again, whatever they are. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> My clicking is a little bit neurotic. Okay. Um. Decapture information. Enable decapture. Hit your advanced test. How much money you got? Tell you. Okay. It's cool. Proxies. Don't really need proxies. That's really. So that's done. Hit add to queue. Um, well, before we do that, you can just use this tag, and this will automatically take the torrent file name and stick it into the field. This is helpful when you are uploading a number of torrent files. Let's say we have five, six, ten um, torrents ready for uploading, batch upload. This will keep the name of the torrent equivalent with the name of the upload, so there's no kind of inconsistency issues, right? In this case, not really needed, so. Like that, right? If you want to use sprint text for your title and for your description, you know, whatever. So image, photo. Done. Of course, of course, um, you would put in your uh, URL of your website here. You would put in like your uh, other details here for both SEO benefits and for traffic benefits. You'd put something in like you know, for more. 
cool picks is it uh, whatever cool picks Pause. whatever you know right? so it doesn't matter essentially use the description use the title fields for promotional purposes quite good hit add to queue done so we'll start going um, right click process all queue and You'll see it starts uploading now through all these websites. We have more websites coming. More websites will be supported very soon. But yeah, it's very, very easy to do. That's how you can create a torrent file. Uh, it's pretty simple to do. File new. Once people start downloading it, this will start seeding, so you'll be able to see um, the torrent file itself actually uploading. If you click here, you go info. info. It will show you, you know, how many seeds are connected, how many peers are connected to your file, who's seeding your file currently. Um, Currently, so far, we've seeded like 162 kilobytes. So, essentially, about one seed. Yep. If you have any questions, let me know. Not a big deal. Uh, as you can see here now, this is processing. It's all very efficient, very effective. Um, Decapture works magic, so you don't have to do anything. Runs completely on autopilot. You can run a number of instances of the program, but I wouldn't recommend it. Let's say stick to this one, especially when we have um, when we will have more torrent websites uploaded. It's a very, very efficient way of submitting your torrent files and promoting your business. Okay, so that'll be that for this kind of tutorial. Um, if you haven't noticed before, um, when it says error, here you can find out what the error is about. Usually it's a website error, so you go to browser error, go to URL, and it'll tell you what actually happened. In this case, encrypt capture text. Okay, so that's an error you have to resubmit it. You can always go to reprocess. And um, that will resubmit that text. So that's the general idea. Very easy to use, very user friendly. Um, get it today. This is torinator.com. Thank you.